It's been quite a day already. Um, the speaker for today is Omar Bolanle for Larry Williams. She's a child of God and our then um, Reverend Pastor that is very passionate about kingdom work. She loves God and strongly believes that Christians should show forth the light of Christ with excellence and integrity anywhere they find themselves. She also believes God's children should dare to be different and stand out at all times. She lives and works in Lagos and is blessed with three godly and lovely children. Like I was saying before, I yeah, unmuted my device. Um, I've known her for quite a while. We've not recently met, but we've recently reconnected by just by God's grace and God's divine divine order that's mm -hmm. all i would say for now so it's yeah. lovely 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 to thank see you, you again so you're welcome you. to the host of thank you, you. Thank you so much. first time i will hope this will not be the final one so over to you ma'am okay good afternoon everyone uh i'm so happy to be here and like sister she like they said um we've been together for a while but we recently reconnected um again so i give God the glory and i'm grateful that God has made today possible for us. And I trust God that as we go ahead this afternoon, the Holy Spirit himself, who is our teacher, will teach us, will give us a more understanding of today's gathering and the reason why God has brought us here. Like I told my sister when she told me about this program, um, I like to be very, very practical in whatever I do. Because I believe that um, many of the things um, I'm, I might say here or other people have said are not new to us. They are things that we have heard over and over again, you know, so, but um, if we bring a practical aspect into it, I believe we will understand better and will flow um, better. And once again, I'm grateful to God for the opportunity and for my sister that God has used to bring me here. And I want us to quickly pray as we go ahead. Father, we thank you once again for this time. This is a time you have ordained and we are glad that we are part of it. We thank you, Lord, that you have made it possible because this is unto you, not unto anyone. And only your name will be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I commit this time into your hands. Holy Spirit, you are a teacher. I pray that you speak through me, that will use me, and anyone that will hear this Lord, will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Father, I trust that you ready to prepare our hearts already for today. And I know, Lord, that everything that will come out of my mouth will be ordained by you in the name of Jesus. And everyone that will listen or that is listening to this will be blessed. And you meet each and every one of us at our various points of needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' um, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, can I go ahead? I thought maybe there was a program or maybe prayers before that. Do you know that I did all the prayer while I was muted? Oh, oh, oh my God. Okay, no problem. Okay, let me just go ahead. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so um, the topic I'll be giving you know, for this brief period is, um, it has to do with single relationship and parenting. You know, I believe, and I know somebody has spoken on um, maybe the married people or, or where you have both parents. So I believe mine should be either the single person, whether you're married, you're not married yet, or as a single parent. And this for me is very, very interesting and interesting. It's something I've passed through. You know, you can't give what you don't have. As I always tell people, if I want to teach in church, I talk to my children, I tell them that, look, you can have clothes more than those of us who are adults, who are older than you, but you can't have rags like we have. What does that mean? That means experience. Because we have passed through this stage. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have passed through this stage. So we know this is more than you. But you can know technology, all those things you do, social media more than us. But when you come certain things, by the grace of God, we know it more than you because we have passed through that stage. Okay, so when you talk about wholesome, I really love that word, wholesome. You know, it talks about a total well-being. When you're complete, you know, when everything, you know, total well-being of the spirit, soul, and body. 
And that's really a good word. And I thank God for my sister's life for that word. Awesome, so, so beautiful. And for us as Christians, we have no choice but to just be complete, you know, in all areas by the grace of God. And like I said earlier, we are focusing on the singles, whether as a married person or as a single person who is still going to get um, married. So when you, when you talk about this wholesome parenting or wholesome single relationship, I want us to focus our mind on the fact that we're talking about ourselves, not only ourselves, but other people that we come into contact with. You know, nobody's an island. Either as a Christian or a non-believer, you can't be alone. You can't stand alone. You can't do anything alone. It's not possible. So in whatever we do, wherever we find ourselves, we should have it about our mind that there, is some, that there are people that we are affecting, either directly or indirectly. So we need to be very, very careful the way we live. We affect people, whether young or old. We affect people in our community where we live. We affect people in the offices where we work. We affect people in our church where we worship. Even, your, even our children, that's our first ministry. We affect them. Our family, we affect them. Our parents, our husbands, our wives. You know, so it's so important for us to know what we are doing as Christians. And I mean, that's why we have that great word, wholesome. You know, so, but the first thing I want to ask us or ask my, because when I'm sharing or I've got to talk somewhere, I don't talk as if I'm talking to people alone. I'm talking to myself also. So the first thing I ask myself, I should ask us, what governs me or what governs you? Now, let me quickly just take this Bible um, passage from Genesis, why I'm using that word, what governs me. Genesis 1, The Bible says, then God blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and govern it. Govern it. Very, very important. We have a duty to be fruitful, to multiply and govern. So that I'm asking, what governs me, what governs you? What backs me or what backs you up? That's very, very important. If, there's, if, you, if you don't understand or you don't know what backs you up, then there's going to be a problem. That means that you can't be hot and cold at the same time. It's not possible. You can't. You have to be, you have to be somewhere. You can't serve both good and mammon until we have to be somewhere. So what governs what governs is what governs me or what governs that will help me to be wholesome, that will help me to be able to do what I'm supposed to do. And one thing I've come to realize is that a lot of us have this problem of being um not being intentional in what we do. So the next now am I intentional in what I'm doing? So do I really have that intention to really be wholesome? If you don't, if you don't force the issue of who governs you, there's going to be a problem. So now let's assume that Christ governs us. So that's a great way to start. But there's not a foundation anybody can lay, except that is which is Jesus Christ. So if we already know who governs us, then am I intentional in what I'm doing? Do I live haphazardly? That's so important. I must be intentional. If I'm not, there are going to be a big problem. If you're not, there's going to be a big problem. A big problem. I, 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 I won't be able to have that wholesome, that total or complete well-being of my spiritual and body to be able to affect and influence others, either within my home or outside my home. It's very, very important. I want, as a single person, for instance, I'm a widow. My husband went to be with the Lord um, just about five years ago, five years and some months ago. You know, but that, that doesn't stop life. Even as a single person, let's even assume, you know, don't, don't, don't ever even go to this job, whether I was married before, as a single person, it doesn't mean that we can't uh, we can't affect others positively. Being single, especially where you're already at a marriageable age, it doesn't mean we can't be wholesome. Don't mean we can't affect people positively. That's why I said we must be intentional about what we do, and we must do what is governing us, what is backing us up, what is backing us up. But what I'm going to like a lot of people is that it's either we want to move so fast or ahead of God. There's a time for everything. We can't always want to have our way. God must be the one that moves us. That's what I want us to realize. God must be the one that moves us. We can't always be the one that determines the time of our moving. Yes, we must have a vision. We are setting before God. But everything must be done in accordance with God's will. That's a, that's a, there's one prayer I always pray for myself and my children that, Father, on a daily basis, direct my steps to the fulfillment of your purpose for me on earth 
and that prayer has never failed me. On the daily basis, Lord, please direct my steps to the fulfillment of your purpose for me on earth. It has always worked for me. So as a single lady, anywhere you find yourself, be intentional with what you're doing. It's so important. Be intentional. Be a reference point. Let people be able to point to you and say, oh, even though this person is a single lady, but we know that the light of Christ is in her and she's affecting us positively. What that pains me a lot, that makes me unhappy, is when somebody is somewhere, especially when you say you are a child of God, and people cannot point to you that you are affecting the place, like the place um, personally. You know, as a single mother, for instance, by the grace of God, when my husband went with the Lord, the, the, the first statement I made when that news was broken to me, I said, I will serve God the Lord. What we say with our mouth is very, very important. So I want you to know that as a single person, for you to be also for you to be able to affect or influence your area anywhere you find yourself, what you say is very, very important. So I said, God, I will serve God the more. And that has helped me to date. God has never failed me because of that prayer. So what we say is very, very important. You know what the Bible says in Numbers 1428? It says, as you have spoken in my ears, so I will do to you. So what are you speaking in God's ears? What are you telling God? Are you a single person? Whether I'm married or are you a single married person? What are you telling God about yourself, about your children? How are you influencing others? You know, you, know, you know, we are the Bible that people read. People prefer to read us than to read what's in the word of God. That's just, that's just the bitter truth. They want to read us first. They want that reading us with our character, what the character we have, anywhere we are. So we are the Bible they read. And the Bible says we are the epistle of Christ. So what, so what governs you? Are you intentional in what you're doing? What are you do, do you do you are you always negative in what you say? Because the Bible says that as we are spoken in its ear, so will you do it to us. So, and one thing I've also come to realize is that a lot of people they use other people's lifestyle as their doctrine. As a single lady or a single parent, never you what, what do I mean by other people's life as a doctrine? Then we hear that, oh, this was the way it happens, it happened to sister A. So by the time they are praying to God, looking at God for something, they'll be thinking that, ah, but it happened to that person the other way. How come mine is like this? It's, it's not like that. No, 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 no. God has his different styles for everybody. So have your own style with God. Have your own personal relationship with God. Not the way it happened to that person, because the word of God, the Bible, is a final authority. So as they happen in the Bible, so how am I aligning my, align myself to the way it happened it happened in the Bible. If you say what the Bible, what does the Bible say in Hebrews 1? Hebrews 1, verse 1. It says, God, let me just repeat, check that. It's Hebrews 1, 1 says, long ago, I'm reading from a new trans, um, NLT, New Living Translation. Long ago, God spoke many times and in many ways to assess us through prophets. And now in this final days, He has spoken to us through His Son. God has different ways of doing His own thing, He has different ways. Of, 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 um, of reaching us, different ways of making us to get close to him. So what is my own way? What is your own way? That's very, very important for us as, as single parents or as a single lady, you know? Then we don't, we don't need to be in a haste in whatever we do. We don't need to be in a haste. A lot of people are so confused that there's no clarity or purpose. They are wondering, am I going to do this? Am I going to do that? Am I going to do? Let us take one step at a time one step at a time because like i said we are not living for ourselves you know we are living for other people too because what we do affect others especially those of us who have children what we do affect the children how do we do how do they see us the things we do for instance let me give you some examples now i there was a time um i mean you know people now especially men as a as a lady who is single who is a widow for instance i'm sure you can imagine different different people coming to ask you one thing or the other so I remember very well, one man just asked me, said, we should go for dinner. And I asked him, if I go with you for dinner, what will your wife say? He now said that his wife knows that he has to make clients. So am, I his, am I one of his clients? Of course I'm not one of his clients. He said, hey, it's just dinner, nothing intimate or whatever. But I just thought to myself, if I should go to dinner with this man, who is he married to man? Of course, it starts from somewhere. That's why as <laughs> as, as a single parent or a single person, let your head be very, 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 very correct. My head is very, very correct. 
no matter what, no matter what situation I've found myself, no matter what I'm going through, my head is very, very correct. I know what I do. Because see, if you allow yourself to do things that do not glorify God, even the one you repent, God will forgive, but if you have, you have, you have wasted your time, you have taken out of the time God has used to push you forward. So I, so I appeal to us. Once you know what governs you, what governs that uh, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and you are intentional in what you're doing, be very, very careful the way you live. Be very, very careful the way you live, please. Because it should just need to affect and set us back if we don't live the way God wants us to live. God's timing is the best. Whatever the one we can put before God, God is always very, very good with his timing. I'm a living example of God's timing, the way God talks, the way God deals with people, you know. It must be very easy. It's a process. We can't achieve everything in one single day. We can't achieve it in one single day. It's a process. And we must go through that process. We can't jump. We can't jump ahead of God. Yes, we have a lot of plans. As a single, as, 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 as a single lady, yes, God, oh, I am supposed to, I'm supposed to get married at this age. Yes, I will put it down. For some, it happens like that. Some get married as early as um, 24, 25. And by the grace of God, they are doing well in flexible people, wherever they are. For some, it doesn't happen that fast. It doesn't mean God is not God. It doesn't mean you are, yeah, you are not a child of God. There's a process God takes us through every time. So we need to be very, very careful not to move ahead of God. You know what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah? He that believes must not make haste. There's no need to rush anything. Let me give you an example. Like I said, I like being very, very practical. And I said, even as practical as I am, don't build a doctrine around the example I'm giving you. I'm saying because it has happened to me. I can only give example what has happened to me or other people I know. But the Bible is a final authority. I have a platform called Esther General. This platform, it's been in my mind for years. I feel like 2003, 2004. Why? Because I have a passion by God's grace to make people to do things the proper way. You know, to make people to, to, to you know, people to, to always be a reference for wherever they find themselves. People that God can point to and say, yes, this is actually a child of God. Our passion to mentor people to be like that. So, but I've been doing it, you know, informally. People come to me, uh, they share with me, I counsel them. I do it, you know, one on one, one on. I'm talking about as much as 2003, 2004, they're about. I remember, I remember, I told my late husband a long time ago to that I wanted to, you know, have this thing where I'll bring people together. He told me that I should just, you know, take it easy and wait for some time. You won't believe I was only in 2000. 20 about two years ago i think i started the platform if i want to even start it i just found the platform with just a few people i would just say skip just there what i didn't really go out to really make it you know the way i thought they would make it to be but i started the platform and even when i started i would just send scriptures there blah, blah. even at the time i was just wondering that ah. but i still continued doing it informally and i thought to myself that oh I might need to do this way that I wanted the way it should be. But there was a lady on that platform that, you know, like I said, maybe she kept me going. Anytime I said scriptures there, I, she would say, hey, my God, see if you knew what I was going through, you know, that lady was not, I had not even known her at the time that thing came to my mind years back. I had not even known her then, you know. You know, so, but later on, I now, God now helped me. We now, we now, we now started in a, in a bigger way, you know, in quote. You know, what am I saying? There's a process, a time for everything. If we keep pushing and keep thinking that, oh, I want this to be now, I want this to be now, we might not have gone through the process God wants us to go through before we, before we achieve what He um, wants us to achieve. Then also one thing I want us to also have is integrity and excellence as a single, as a single parent, as a single lady or single man. I don't know. Integrity is so important. So, so important for us. We must have integrity. Unfortunately, that is lacking now. Even in the church, I may go to say that in the church, it is lacking now. No integrity. But I can still there to be different. You can still there to be different. Please, it's still possible. If, even, even if others are going the other way, we can still go. So that's why you have a platform like this, wholesome, you know, parenting. It's so important. I can still be different. Let your children see you and be able to be happy and grow up, see the kind of life you are giving. I have, I have three young adults. My last one will be 18 on Tuesday. So I have, I can't say this, I have three young adults. 
I can't just live anyhow. I have two young ladies and a young man. I can't just live anyhow. It's not possible. So I am the wholesome person that they are saying. And with that, I'm influencing them and they will also influence other animals the costume. So, so important. Don't let it be that, oh, things are not the way it should be, so I can just live anyhow. No, we cannot live anyhow. And one thing else that can also help us, please never forsake the assembly of the saints. It's also important for you to be wholesome. And that's one that has helped me. Even when you are down, even when you, even when you have sinned, you have gone the other way. Once you don't stop being in the midst of believers, there's no way you'll be back. You'll come back home. It's so important. Please never, never, please never forsake the assembly of saints. It's very, very important. And also, um, I, I think I have just about 20 minutes. Let me try to um, uh, round up with one or, two, or three points. You know, uh, many of us are bothered about maybe what God wants us to do or what you have in mind. Is this what I want to do? Is that what I want to do? Let me tell you the way I live and the way I believe God has helped me. If you look, at, if you look through the Bible, we found that many people that, that have even been blessed by God or achieved one or the other. They went through one process or the other and not all palatable. We look at Abraham and, and Sarah. I mean, I don't have any record there where the Bible says that maybe they had one sin in them and that was why the child, maybe that was like Isaac didn't come on time. No. But eventually Isaac came and through that I see what God, and, and that was God's promise there. The descendants will be like the sons of the same as that way it is now. Who was well, Joseph? We all know what he went through. Without any fault of his own, he had the dream. He still went there after the dream. They were so jealous. If even when he got to the play record, God gave him to Potiphar's house. The wife also did her own nonsense. And Potiphar, who brought him, I was so happy that Joseph was there. Believe the wife. He went to prison. For no. So there's always a process in everything. So never try to go ahead of God. Never try to jump ahead of God. Always. Don't be religious. Many people are religious. You are a child of God. You have a relationship with Jesus. I want to tell people, I'm not a religious person. I'm a child of God. I am born again, filled with the spirit of God. I bask in God's love and glory on a daily basis. What do I mean by being, being religious? Okay. Uh, midweek service is Wednesday. I go to church. I come back. Midday, uh, Sunday service. I go to workers, uh, workers meeting. Sunday service. At least I come back. Mm -mm. On a daily basis. If you know how many times I tell God in that I love him. Sometimes I'll just say, ah, Father, you are great. So I talk my heart for you. Ah, God, you are a master planner. You know, it's your father. He's our father. Just talk to him. The way, the way, if I, the way you are talking to maybe your husband, your wife, your children, or your friend, just talk to him like that. You know, ah, God, you're so sweet. Then also, let us be thankful in every single thing, not only where we have children, not only where we graduate, not only where we are getting married, not only where we have built a house, not only, not only where we have bought a car. I thank God, if you know what I thank God for, I thank God that I can open the tap and water will gush out. I don't have to go to the river to fetch water. I thank God that I have the bed I can sleep on. I don't have to squeeze myself on that. That the bed is so big enough, I can spread my stuff on it. You know, I thank, I thank God that I can, I, I, that there's, there's light that can just put on the switch and on the light, you know. So all those things I thank God for, you know. So we don't have to, we don't have to put God in a situation that we we'll thank Him as if it's only when He has done something very, very big for us. No, 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 no. We thank Him when we are able to appreciate His love for us on a daily basis. So, so important on a daily basis. Please let us learn that. Tell Him how much you love Him. Sometimes I blow kisses to God. Is that important? You won't believe it. Yes. Just let him know how much I appreciate him, how much I love him. So that's the way. So as a single um, person, as a single parent, please, I beg of us, we need to understand that we must, we, what, what happened, we must know what is backing us up. Without that, we can't even, I can't be cold and hot at the same time. I must be intentional in what I do. I must not run ahead of God. I must wait for him. I must you know, I, 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 must, I, I must go through his process. If I think I, I think I saw something online, and I'm sure some of us have seen it also, where somebody said, why do bad things happen to good people? Or why does God allow people to suffer? 
I'm sure some of them have seen it. And the man said, if you have faith, all things have meaning. I asked for strength. God gave me difficulties to make me strong. I asked for wisdom. God gave me problems to solve. I asked for courage. God gave me dangers to overcome. I asked for love. God gave me troubled people to help. To help. So he said, everything he asked God for, God answered. You know, it wasn't the way he thought God would answer. So the way we are, don't let us think it is the way we are thinking that God will answer. God will definitely answer, but not the way we might think. The way he did it for Mr. A might not be the way we do it for me. I've, I've quoted some scriptures to say that you know, God works in diverse ways, in different ways. You know, so we need to be very, very careful. Let our relationship with Jesus Christ be very, very strong. Let it be, let it be a personal thing. So that even if you are in church, someone tells you something, or somebody comes and says something, you can still go back and check on, is this thing true? And what the Bible says about the Berean Christians, they were more noble than those in Thessalonica because after they have been taught, they went back and checked that what they thought they were true. So what are we said today? As a, as, as a single parent, please, be very, very careful the way you live. It starts from me. I, I, I am the Bible my children will read. I am the Bible others will read. And it's so great when we live a kind of positive life and affect lives um, positively. There are great blessings attached to it. I tell people when I'm teaching each other, look, God does not bless you only when you ask for something. He blesses you because of the things you do. So if I target in, 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 on my own to make sure I live in a way that you, that it will influence others. There's a great blessing attached to that. So, so the Bible says, says in the book of Proverbs, to him that knoweth to do good. I can't remember the way or uh, it's, and it, I mean, the idea of that story is that God bless it. When you know to do good and you do it, God blesses it for you, even without you even asking for it. You know, so as a, as a, you, as a lady or a man, a single person or a single parent, it's so important that we we are we 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 are we have that totality of our body, soul, and spirit, whole son in all areas. Because with that, we without even talking to people or evangelizing, we are able to do what to affect lives. And to me, the reason why we are here is to expand the word of God on earth, to expand the kingdom of God on earth. How to expand it? If you are not if you are not wholesome, how can you expand uh, God's kingdom on earth? And that's a beautiful way to evangelize. Without even talking to somebody, the fact that you are living a life in a possibly affected others, and you know, he that went to soul is wise. So living wholesomely, you know, affecting lives for God is a form of evangelism, and there are rewards for that in heaven. So I take home for today, like I said, uh, once I let me briefly rush through it again. The first thing, like I said, right from Genesis chapter one, God said he we should be full and govern. So we must govern. And what is governing us? What is, who is backing us to evil government? That's the first thing. Who is, who, who is backing us up? Then we must be mindful of who governs us. Then we must be intentional in all we are doing. We just don't do things because we just want to do because just to feel our righteousness. No, we must be intentional. It's also important. Be very, very intentional in what we are doing. Take one step at a time. Take it easy. One step at a time. Everything can We can't, all the things we want, we can't even understand everything. Many people say they don't understand, they are not clear. God has no promise that we understand everything. I don't even understand everything myself. I don't. I watch Billy Graham a lot. I mean, when he's talking, he'll say, people ask, he will say, people will ask him, where is God? Where was he before the war started? He would try to argue. And he said, he doesn't know. But all he knows is that God is God and he created the heaven and the earth and he has believed by faith. So it's not everything we know. It's not everything we understand. The one God wants us to understand, it will give me God to understand it. The one that we don't know yet, let us just keep one step at a time, following him. You know? So I, you know, my person asked me one day, mom, so many things he wants to do. I said, look, take it easy. I don't know. We can't even understand what, but we can put everything we want before God and God will give us um, direction. Then lastly, please, for us as single parents or as single, yeah, 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 made a man or woman, please, Form the habit of using this mouth to say what you want. Not until, not until you get to church. No, 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 no. If you see what I say to myself on a daily basis, <laughs> I will say, I'm a I will be beating my chest. I say, God, 
if nobody else will say this, if it's only one person that will remain that will say, let it be me, I'll be saying that. I will come back and say, I can do all things to Christ that strengthens me. That will be, I, they are good at that. I think my children say that on a daily basis, I can do all because it's your mouth. That is life. Say it to yourself. Then form the habit of laying hands on your on your children and prophesying into their lives. I'm not really good at that. My, my late husband, before he died, on a daily basis, when I mean, I mean daily, he will lay hands on the children and myself, all of us. And prophesy that the first thing he will do. When I mean daily, they accept I am not maybe I'm, I'm away from Michelle, whatever, I'm not home. Every day the children are not home. That is the first thing he does. When he passed on, I couldn't do it too, but you no, know, but I know I prophesy to be alive and I pray a lot for them. But now I've come back to start doing it. You no, know, even my son who is in the home, I lay hands on him and prophesy to his life. It's still, still my son, whether he's an adult or not. So please let us be very let us be very very interested in what we do. God is good, He's, he's wonderful, He's awesome, He's loving, He loves us so much. He can he will, he will always be there for there's no way He will not He will, he will not uh, meet us at the point of our various mistakes. I hope I've been able to pass on the two things and um, across to Ross. You know, I I don't want it to be a long thing where we go to so many scriptures, but that's why I've brought out some practical aspects and one or two scriptures. So I pray that the little that God has taught us today in this sharing, I pray that um, it will it will multiply it, it will use it will multiply it by faith in our hearts, and we'll have more understanding of who God is and the grace to be hostile the gate to influence others around us positively. God will grant unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Ma. I am so grateful. I was just about to start writing to people that if they have any questions, they should just uh, put it in the chat box. I wanted to do a recap, but you already did it. But I just want, for those who are just joining us, in fact, I don't think I should do a recap, maybe in form of questions. If you have any questions, okay. please feel free to ask. What can you, um, I like that part where you said, what governs you? I put yes. it down as, as what's your backup. Can you appreciate yes. more on that? Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Like I said, let me, maybe for sake of those who are just coming, let me quickly go back to that Genesis chapter one. It is an instruction from God. Okay. So I'm taking from Genesis chapter one, um, verse 28. It says, then God blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and govern it. So if God is saying, be fruitful, be multiplied, it's an instruction. We have no choice in that. Fill the earth and govern it. Fill the earth and govern it. Before you can govern something, something must be backing you up. And we need to ask ourselves that, that question sincerely. You see, there's a problem in Yoruba that will explain it. In your major pattern, if I'm deceiving myself, I can't deceive God. I can't deceive another person. If I'm deceiving another person, I can't deceive myself. I can't deceive God. That means that let me let us be sincere. Who is what? What? Who is backing me up? Am I truly committed to this, my relationship with God? Am I truly committed to it? Or am I this way and that way? Because it's so sad when you see, when you hear things like, ah, uh, uh, um, if that one is a Christian, ah, I beg me, I'm going to every person. Ah, ah, why? It makes me so sad. Why? So that means that for such a person who is still like that, who is blowing hot and cold and Satan, then, the, 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 the proper person that's supposed to, 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 to back him up. That's Jesus. He's not backing him up. So who is backing? Who is backing me? And that, and, and that tells a lot in my character. That tells a lot in how I influence others. That tells a lot in how I influence my children. That tells a lot in how people see me and what they say about us as God's children when we behave. When we behave. I hope I'm able to answer that. That's what I Yes, yes, yes. Because I really like it. It's like when you have that at the back of your mind i remember um when yes well they still say when i was young people um our parents would say not your money too and she is just like yes, remember yes. where you are from you just don't yes, like yes you just don't behave anyhow know where you are yes. from 
so that when yes. you are outside, you, yes. will, you are on your best behavior. And now, yeah. it, if you know what backings you, if you know who is your father, if you know who is your God, who has your back, then yes. you, you have a better direction in yes. life. In yes. life. And I also like the fact that, that we have to be intention, intentional in all we do. Uh, that word has become um, something that I'm also trying to imbibe into my life that why do I do, do the things I do? What is the outcome? What, what am I expecting? Like, uh, I remember one of our facilitators, she said that she um, gives her children an appraisal form to fill at the, uh, maybe at the end of the year or quarterly or something. I was like, wow, that's something, that's something else. But she's been intentional because she's bringing up those children to know who they are and to have a focus and to have um, a, a focus and also have a goal to achieve. Yes. So I think that, that's what it is. Um, if anyone has any question, please feel free to um, either um, unmute your device and ask or send it in the chat box. I did write um, some questions and it, relating to being single. Um, I must say that you are, and from time to time, you've been a public person. You've been a very public person. You are very bubbly, and I can still see it in you. You are very bubbly and passionate. And some people see being single as um, a sign. Uh, forgive me if I'm if I'm wrong. They see it as being second class. They see it as being second class. That, ah, I'm not married. I don't have a husband. I don't have this thing. I can't talk when my the others are talking. Is that the way it should be, or is there like is there a, a, another aspect to being single? Is it can we say a single person should be joyful or not? I don't know if you try if you get what I'm saying. Yes, I understand you very well. Sergeant. Like me, I honestly, it's it's a pity that um we have um allowed ourselves, you know, to get to this point where we think that. That's why I mentioned it earlier. I would think that if um, somebody is not married at a certain age, then the person, I, I guess, I think the portion of the society and our culture, mm -hmm. there are some things we can't run away from, but we can make a difference by correcting those wrong um, assumptions. It's a culture of um, the society and, um, I'm sorry, it's a portion of society and the culture we have found ourselves in. But it's totally wrong. It's totally wrong. And that's where the, it, it depends on the individual. Yeah. It's not an easy thing. But I must tell you, you can still decide to be different. You can still decide to dissociate yourself from whatever name they want to call it that is not yours. You have to be passionate about what you do. I'm very, very passionate about what I do. So, I mean, it, it, like I said, it's a process. I didn't get there in one day. If I said Shalakwe, I don't know if you remember. I don't know if that's uh, uh, me still on, on, on the call. I saw that earlier. I'm not sure you can remember. You see, let me tell you I say the process. While we were back in Osu, I was not born again in Osu. I know that. But we lived near each, not far from each other. There was a house fellowship in your house where you yourself, Sister Romi and Sister Diola were living, your, your flat. Mm -hmm. you, you people invited me uh, for, uh, I think, when we were in something, one fellowship, it was a weekly thing. Fellowship, yeah. Just God bless you. I was not born again then. I used to come. Because you people were, I mean, we were together somehow, but I was not born again. And I remember very well, even whenever I got there, you tell me to leave praise and worship. <laughs> because I was in your circle, because, yes. I, I see, I was, I was an unbeliever. I see, oh, I love all my friends, thank God we are all kissing that. We are, we are all believers, you know, but we used to, I, 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 I used to come, I remember I used to come. And so I tell me to leave praise and worship. Shortly after, when we now got to law school, and then, um, the, the class from there, they said they wanted to have the first meeting was a video. And you won't believe it that they invited us. I, know, I was only going again there to myself and my friends. They said we were going for this video. And they now said, uh, they asked me to come at first time with Mr. Muji. So I said, I wasn't sure. I didn't know God was already working on me. Okay, now, so my friends now said, if I will go, they will go. That's how I went. My friends all went. Today we are all Christians. Thank God. You see, that's why I talk about always, honestly, being the circle of God's children is a great thing. So it's an individual thing. If people want to tag you and say that, oh, you, know, you have to be able to stand and let people know that it is not true. 
Nobody will live that life for you. You have to live it yourself. My pastor will not live it for me. Even the one, even I will not live it for my children. They will not live my own for me. I have my role over my children. I am as their mother. They have their role as their children to me. But to stand up and be what God wants you to be, it is my duty. It is your duty. So we can't say the culture is the one affecting me and making me to now go depressed and go down and say, no, no, they are saying that I'll be, no, you have to, it's in the Bible. What, what does the Bible say about it? About, about you as a human being, whatever age, whatever status you find yourself. I mean, for me, with three children and having my husband having passed away, I have a right to also either to be living uh, carelessly or to be, but my head is correct. I know it won't pay me. It will make me get to heaven. It will make me influence people. It will make me, if you, I mean, when people see me by God's grace, oh, then I, okay, it is possible that, oh, even as a married person, God can still be able to, can still be good to somebody, you know? So I made that decision. So you have to make that decision as a single person. I'm, I'm going to be joyful. That the word of mouth is so important. I say this to myself you know, regularly. So I'm after I beat my chest to God, and I'm saying, so it's something you have to be so passionate. It's something about you, not about somebody else that will do it for you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. That's powerful. That's powerful. We don't we don't allow society no, 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 to no, no, no. our lives, whether single or married or anything. Yes. I, I like that. And then mm. I don't know if you remember in one of our chats, I said I was trying to. I didn't know how to say it because it's sensitive. When it comes to weed, uh, people who are widowed, um, it's not easy. It's the grace of God. And it's very sensitive. Sometimes I, I think we, people find it difficult to relate with, um, because I don't know, it's difficult to relate. Not that the person is, there's anything wrong with the person, but it's just that it's a sens sensitive issue. So how do you think one can um, not assist, but be um, mindful? I don't, I don't want to, it's a situation that we don't want to be working on um, eggshells around people that are single or widow or anything. How do we relate with, with one another, whether we are married, whether, we are with, we, uh, whether one is widowed or single or things like that? I, I don't know if you get my point because I don't, I, I don't, it's a very sensitive issue. We don't want to, it's not, um, it's sensitive. That's all I can say. So how can we relate with one another without, um, stepping on one store or being over, over, over sensitive to one or just withdrawing so, because some people will just withdraw and say, ah, I don't know. I don't know how to treat this thing because you know, it's not something that it's, um, people are open to or want to talk yes. about. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Like I said, in fact, uh, we learn so many things on a daily basis, or or as things happen to you. You won't believe that. <laughs> it was after I became a widow, I understood so many other things that I didn't understand before. I will tell you what I mean by that. Before I now go, to, before I now answer that question. I, 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 I won't use the word judge, no. But there are some things, I guess maybe it's onto you, in somebody's shoes. That's when you understand what the person is going to. And that thing is a very, very true statement. Sometimes I some people, ah, why did this person do, why did this person do this? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Uh -huh. When it now happened to me, because I remember a long time ago, two different people came to me and said, ah, ah. I mean, someone that we know that became a long, long time ago, one lady somewhere, someone that somebody we know around here, that ah, why is she behaving like that? She behaves, she behaves somehow. Oh, then she back on. Ah, oh, then she back on. Another person to that, somebody that she knew somewhere in Katuna was just behaving anyhow. Apparently, those two people, when I became a widow, I realized that, you know, the, the, uh, the things have changed for you. Mm -hmm. So nobody will understand the way you understand it. And now I realize that those people were reacting to their new status. 
not what I mean that what he did was that maybe the way they were now relating to those people, the person felt that it wasn't good enough, that maybe she will call, maybe the person will not, will not return the call, but the person will answer somehow. They didn't re I didn't also realize at that time that they are, their thinking and way of that had now changed. Okay. Having said that, we have, like the Bible says, the grace upon Sister A or Mr. A, that you do or whatever. It's just about the grace upon me, just the grace upon another person. So, for people, for those who, who want to relate with those who are now with us or whatever, you just need to what the kind of person you are dealing with. Mm -hmm. For me, for instance, for those who know me, you know that I have no issue with that. Okay. People don't, they will even know. I'm even one until I even say it. Why? Because God has helped me, even before I became one, by His mercy and His grace. By his mercy and his grace, I've been a child of God, you know, loving God and doing what he loves. So when that thing happened too, the first statement I also made, that's like, you see, what we say is so important is that I will serve God the Lord and God has been helping me to do that. So for those I come to contact with, I've never really, personally, I've never really had that issue or maybe they will feel somehow or feel somehow. But on my own part, I'm always very, very careful, especially with the opposite sex. So that I don't want to okay. offend somebody else's husband or somebody. Are you getting me? I'm very, 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 very careful with that. But for all that, um, you have to be able to study the person. So if the person does something that you think is not proper, don't feel so bad. It's because of that thing they are in. I understand. So, but don't feel bad that, oh, maybe I should now do it with the person. No, 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 no. Just pray for us more. Ask God, you know, for this anything we are lacking. I mean, as they said, emotionally, especially, that God will feel that ahead. So don't think that we need to just uh, put them aside and say, ah, well, let me move near how she's behaving somehow. No, 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 no. It's just because of that situation they are in. Some are not like they get over it. Some it takes a longer time. Aha. Mm -hmm. I think I've been able to answer that a bit. Yes. yes you have because even i could i could not express myself freely without um thinking am i going to upset no there are times you cry yes you cry and cry and cry then you wipe your face you know you're all ha you know so but it's no big deal don't think because somebody is a widow i don't want to be over sensitive no 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 except that person i um, mean if someone says exceptional that ah, you are being careful to deal with the person once you have started the person and you can see that oh this person is not that bad of what she's going through it's fine i mean it's like you will even say it to me or for me except i tell you <laughs> the, the joy of the lord is your strength the joy of the hey, lord is your strength. Hey, now, hey. another aspect I want us to look at is parenting, yes. especially with young people. Most of the time on this um, session, we talk about um, children, but children, children, not, and even sometimes teenagers, but young people, they are a whole different mm -hmm. game. They are a whole different game. How do we cope with mm -hmm. them? Because I was telling somebody recently, okay, I used to um, teach in the um, children's church but after covid and uh, yeah after covid we um during covid we stopped and everything so it's been online and everything so my son well i didn't ask permission but putting in this you know i now told him oh you finished your exams now so you are going to join at least do some work in the church and everything he said oh is that it i said yes he said okay when you go back to children's section then I might consider it, I was like, my goodness. <laughs> my goodness. I can't imagine myself in my time talking to my mother like that. Times are so different. I don't know if it's, it's not just a British thing or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's all over. It's, it's all over. What is happening? How can we relate with these children? How, can, how do you relate with us? How can we relate to them? Because I'm like, it, really are you saying that to me but i just had to think okay all right and the next thing i had to do was start planning to go back because he's like the thing is that this kind of the, nowadays is not um do as i do is what you say yeah i'm doing it that they will follow so mm -hmm. what, what, what what's your take on that 
Wow. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll still go back to the foundation. It's not a dead thing. And don't be surprised, it's everywhere. It's not a bit still know, it's everywhere. Even my own hair, it's everywhere. So I'm always, but I'm always being careful. You know, but the good thing is that um, there's this seed already in there. That seed, <laughs> that seed of credit that has planted in there, it will always come up, no matter what. You know, Jesus says in, I think John said that nothing will snatch us away from his hand. Mm -hmm. I think John said, um, that seed is very, very powerful. That's it. Like I said, I have three of them, 24, 21. Um, it, the, the last one will be 18 in two days' time. Ah. Even if the one, even their brother, the guy, that one, they said that that was my favorite. I don't know why. I feel, I feel, I believe that would just be better because <laughs> the girls, ah, you know, it's like when I want to, when I want to, when we are finished dressing up and want to go out, I is the one that I know that even with whether the others will judge you a bit, what, what, what is this? He will say it in a loving way, you know, but the other two girls, ah, ah, mommy, you know, the way they will say they are old, you know, so there's a seed in them that will always be there no matter what. Mm. But we learn from them too. We are yeah. not perfect. Me, I always tell when I'm teaching in church, as they look at me, I am not perfect, but my head is very, very correct. I think my head is very, very correct. I know what I'm doing. Everyone is there. We must get there. But I'm not perfect. And my children they told me one day, they were accused to say that I judge a lot. I judge people a lot. Hey, <laughs> I judge you that eh, when I see somebody, I'm always, I wept, eh? I cried. You are just a male. I cried. And I checked myself and I said, mommy, don't you know, everybody cannot be like you. Everybody cannot see the way you say things. Everybody cannot be, mm. I cried and cried and cried. Okay, and I said, I'm sorry. In every way you think I've said something, I've just people that you think is like, God forgive me. When I finished, I said, but you see this my mouth. I told them, me, it will evangelize for God, you know, I will still do my, I, I told them, was, <laughs> but you know, I cried. I apologized to them. It's supposed to be had seen something. And they felt and thought it was improper. Okay. So, but one thing I want us to do as parents is that we should invest in this way with our mouth, with our prayers. Those things are investments. Mm -hmm. If I mean it, I just say, hey, Father, thank God for their dad. Oh, hey, these things are working. Because my uncle one day said, hmm, he told them, said, if it was possible for you to prostrate for them, he will do it that they have never given me problems. You know? So I believe that the seed that God has planted in them from their tender age, even that is going, even if they want to do whatever, that seed, that is it, is it, that foundation, that seed of Christ is so so powerful. They won't they won't drill. Except we don't except we don't know what you are doing. That that seed is so powerful. So let us continue to use our word. Like I said, I still lay hands on them. Like even the one that is 24, that told that me. I went on the bed. I would go there and lay my hands on him. I would prophesy into his life. And just say, mom, thanks. Amen. And the other girls. So that seed in them is powerful. There's no way. It can no Bible said that light shines in darkness and uh, um, light shines and that can never comprehend. It's not comprehend possible. It. Darkness, let us be so, let us be confident. Darkness will not comprehend it. Even mm -hmm. if it's season something. So don't that is just telling you that you go and do or you use the children's church. Don't worry. It's a minor thing. The, the sin <laughs> of Christ is in him and the womb. So and with our mouth, with our prayer, there's, there's something I also do. Around, if I'm not feeling too sleepy, around 12, 11, 12, I just pray in tongues. Mm -hmm. Go back pray in tongues. You know, I'm sure it's, it's something we have all been doing as we so let us keep on doing all those all those powerful things upon their lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't know if anyone has any questions, but if you are still deciding, we are running out of we run out of time. But um, I just want us to pray. It's going to be a time of prayer now. There are so many things to pray to pray about, especially from the things you've um, talked about. That thing is still it is uh, for me. It's mine. It's making me think now what governs me. So our first prayer point is that Lord, be my backup. Be the one, to, be the one to govern me. Be the one to direct me. Be the one to lead me. Be the one to get to direct my children. To direct the state of my life. Even we can extend it to ourselves as spouse. Even if you are single, 
you intending to um, get married, just say, Father, be my backup. Be the one who leads and direct me. My children, my extended family, my community, the nation that I live in. Father, don't leave me on my own, oh God. Give me direction and purpose, oh God. Help me to be intentional in all that I do. Let me remember that I am your child, and as your child, I will stand for excellence in all that I do. I will stand for integrity, for purpose. In the name of Jesus. Help me to be awesome in every aspect of my life and my even in the lives of my children. So that my life can be impactful. And Lord, help me to be to wait for your timing. Let me not run ahead of you, oh God. Let our children not run ahead of you, oh God. Direct us, oh God. Lead us, oh God. Amen. You also mentioned something that we should not use another person's life as a doctrine. That Father, in your own way that you want, oh God, just have your way in my life. If it's a miracle you are doing, if it's a discipline, Father, just, just I'm, you are the potter and I'm the clay. Mold me, break me, do that which you are supposed to do in my life, oh God. Father, help me to understand your sense of timing and processing. In the name of Jesus. Help me to be patient, oh God, and not run ahead of you, oh God. Help me not to forsake the gathering of saints, oh God. Help me to be grateful and thankful in all that I do, oh God. Let me not take things for granted. And Father, whatever my status is in life, whether single, married, widowed, divorced, or whatever, Lord, you can use me, oh God. You can yes, still use me. You yes, used Rahab. Yes, Lord. Um, Ruth. You use many people in the Bible, oh God. Does it, it? Their status did not matter. So, Lord, I commit myself into your life, into your hands. Use me for your glory. Let my situation, oh God, be a stepping stone, oh God, for, uh, for a greater heights, oh God. Let it turn my mess into a message, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Use me for your glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I also want us to lift up um, Sister um, Omopolanle, that the Lord will continue to uphold her, that the rivers of living water, the Spirit of God will continue to bubble in her, her joy will be full. Amen. Over our, over our children, the Lord will be the strength of our life. In the Bible, the Word of God says that His grace is sufficient for her. That His grace will always be sufficient for her. And even in our weaknesses, God will make us strong. And I know that with our passion comes zeal. The Lord would anoint it with knowledge, wisdom, direction that everything she's meant to do that she will not be intimidated she would even she, god will bring people into her life that will help her to do what god has uh, placed in her hands that our ministry will go from strength to strength greater heights in the name of jesus in all that she does for god that god will say well done faithful servant the lord will continue to wipe her tears she will cry no more the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will garrison our spirit, soul, and body, and that she'll be wholesome in all areas of life in Jesus' name. We cover our children in the blood of Jesus, it will be well with them. They will be delightful children, wholesome children, for the use of the glory to the glory of God. Thank you, Father God, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I we are so grateful. We know we've over short a time. Yes, the scripture I was looking for is a is a good one to encourage us. John 10 um 15. So we should never be afraid, no matter what way we think our children are going. It says, okay, start from 14. I am the good shepherd. Jesus, Jesus talking. I know my own sheep and they know me. Just as my father knows me, and I know the father. 
So I sacrificed my life for the sheep. I have other sheep too. They are not in this. Okay, no, no, sorry. That's not it, sorry. Um, verse 17, John 10, 18, it's from 17. The father loves me because I sacrificed my life. So I may take it back again. No one can take my life from me. Uh, I don't think that, that's what I was saying to you, maybe let me post it. Um, talks about yeah. it, that nobody can take them away from me. That's what I was trying to look for. Um, or is it 35? I can't, I can't see it now. I think that's John, I'll get it later. But please let's all go with this scripture, Psalm 16. Verse 1 says, um, Psalm 16. Um, just so we don't need to be bothered. God will always um, come round for us at his own time. Psalm Amen. 16 it says, uh, where it says, show me the path of life. See that's 11. Okay, 16, 11. You will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasure of living with you forever. That's NLT. You will show me the way of life. There's no way. It, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a promise. You should never be afraid. God will show us the way of life. So if we are so, if we are not even clear, uh, is it the way I should go? Is it the way God wants me to live? Is it what I should do? Is it what I should undertake a child of God? He says, just use that. Story. God, the Bible says, you will show me the way of life. Just use that scripture to tell God, Father, this is your promise. Please show me the exact way you want me to go. You have to understand everything immediately. But one step after the other, you surely understand. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. I also want um, to... Should have shared this earlier. Um, Sister Mobolale, um should I call it a ministry? When people say uh, also oh, prayer is a ministry, I say hey, ministry. I don't know about ministry. I, I don't know whether it's ministry. And I do. Yeah, I don't know whether it's ministry. I'm afraid of that one. But me, I shall know there are people. We have a platform and we have people. In fact, I should like please. There's um, that intentional thing. Let me tell you how I also got to the good. I can see on the call. I think my brother and his wife are there. Mr. Ni Yarika, he I attended a course under him. He's in um, three John Maxwell, and that's. He should be the intentional. I'm yeah. telling you, sometimes I'm just learning. It's not that I'm being the anger with that word. Don't think I've known it. Don't think I've known it like that for long ago. Mm -mm. But I always want to keep on learning and learning. So recently, I'm learning under him. As my brother is on the call now. That is your be If I coming to take us also on the Esther General very soon. To be, to be very, very intentional about things. And I mean, it was through him I got to really understand what it means to be very, very intentional about things. Thank God. Thank God for that. He's so, on the call at the moment, too. Okay. So your your um platform, platform mentoring, yeah. mentoring. <laughs> Is uh, Esther's general, <laughs> general vision. Yes. Yes, yes, it's to be the modern day Esther filled with godly wisdom and character who will be a reference point anywhere she finds herself to effectively and positively impact our world in all areas, thereby changing the correct negative narrative as it relates to the female gender. The uh, Instagram account is at Esther's general. So, um, I believe the next, um me, uh, meeting will be on the 11th of August. Last Tuesday, last Tuesday last in August. Tuesday. Last Tuesday in August. Okay. We meet every last Tuesday. So please put out the reminder so that we can okay. join. I also want to publicize that. And it will be a pleasure. It will be a pleasure. It will be a pleasure. So thank you for everyone. Sorry we um, run out of time, but there's a lot to learn. There's a lot to learn. And I'm grateful to God for this um, opportunity for um, Sister Mobile to be with us. She shared things that um, uh, so um, it's, it's an eye opener and also a reminder and also how to relate with people, how to relate with people and how to be, no matter your state, don't let, don't be um, confined to the status. Don't even let anybody put you in any box. No, you are not meant to. God, the, the sky is not even your limit now. You can do wherever, go wherever God wants you to do. Yeah. By that is the one leading and guiding you. 
So yeah, um, we're rounding up now. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Please, uh, at the Wholesome Parenting Community Hub, we have a session at least one one every month. But this month in July, we've had three. And if you're interested in um, um, listening to any of the videos, please go to our different social platform where you find us there. Share the videos, like, and just be blessed by it. Thank you, everyone, for joining. We are so grateful. God bless you. Have a Amen. wonderful Amen. weekend Amen. and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank Amen. you. God bless. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. Thank you. God bless Bye. You. Bye. Bye. And bye to the people watching from um, Facebook. Bye. Bye.